Cool, you've been in charge of the team this week with Nat away doing her uh, her pro licence. Um, has that in any way changed the way that the week has played out? No, not at all. Um, we're pretty set in our process and how we do things. So we're pretty comfortable with where we're at so far this week. A um, couple of sessions to go and I'm in constant communication with Nat in between um, her courses and bits and pieces and modules she's doing. So yeah, nothing's changed. In debriefing last week, um, how disappointing was, uh, was losing the lead and, and uh, having to settle for a point against Brisbane? Yeah, I think frustration is probably the overall feel. Um, we actually had the most shots the team's ever had in the A-League. So to have 20 shots, 13 of those inside the box, um, and to only come away with one goal after making a big emphasis on, on scoring goals and finishing those chances was a bit frustrating, but the performance on a whole was up there with one of the best we've had this season. Is there any uh, degree of satisfaction in the fact that you got in the area that often and fired off that many shots, even if only one went in? Absolutely, yeah. And when you look at across all the stats, we did something to the girls the other day that was, um, it was the best ever in like eight different categories of possession, progressive passes, forward passes. So the progression of the team is really, really good. And now it's just that final piece and making sure that as we have this run in um, the last sort of five games of the season that we are taking advantage of those. So the last five games are win, couple of draws and two 1-0 losses. So uh, is that kind of indicative of, of the improvement the team's made, do you think? I think so. If you look at, um, put the, the results aside, if you look at the performances from the start of the season um, to now, then I think you can see the, the progression the team's made. Um, in possession especially, um, we went the first two games conceding eight or nine goals, whatever it was, and now it's one here and one there. And if we can just kind of shut the door at one end and hopefully open it up at the other, then we'll be, we'll be fine. And what are you expecting from Sydney? You just played them two weeks ago. Um, looks like they've been decimated a little bit by by injuries and suspension, which which may help. Yeah, I mean, when you have starting players out that are playing regularly, it's always helpful. But you look at um, the players that they may bring in at centre back, and one's just retired from international duty from the football ferns, and the other one's just come back off playing for Ireland. So um, they've got depth in their squad. So I think it's going to be a tough game. Um, we've got ways that we'll hopefully we can um, capitalise, but we'll see how it goes. And has Nat contributed um, or been in touch like, throughout the week or have you just sort of let her focus on, on her course? How have you sort of managed that? Yeah, we speak daily um, in the morning before I get here, just go to the plan and, and then review the day together. Um, and then little messages here and there. Um, obviously it's difficult, she needs to focus on that and improving, but also um, such a keen interest in here as well. So we chat a lot, um, she's across everything. It's not that I'm just making all the decisions, that's not the case at all, um, but she's, we're in constant communication, which is great. Yeah, it's a bit of a hard one because, um, you know, so valuable for, for coaches to go over it or to get a pro licence. It's been so hard for New Zealand coaches to be able to do that. But at the same time, for the course to be during a professional season must be a bit frustrating. Yeah, it's something that we spoke about a lot um, for the Confederation to put the pro licence on during the only professional team's games is a bit bizarre but um, it's one of those things right that um, for her to progress and continue um, as, as a coach um, then it's a really good thing. And in terms of injuries is anyone unavailable um, that hasn't already been for this weekend? No, um, no new injuries which is good. Um, we're hopeful to have Candy back um, so she's got a again I keep feel like I keep saying this tick a few boxes today um, same as what Betsy did last week so hopefully we can have her back. And Chico, Claudia, Claudia Chico, she's back from where she was or? No, no, so she's still away. So we'll have her back next week. Um, she actually scored a hat-trick um, for the under-20s, which is great playing a little bit higher up the pitch. So we're really happy for her. Is there going to be a solution for scoring goals when she does come back? Who knows? Um, who knows? She's actually really good in front of goal. Um, she played there when she was younger. So it's really good that she's so versatile and maybe. You've seen um, a number of your players, some already established football ferns and other new ones make their way into the team during the season. Look at Michaela Foster, Grace Wisniewski. Mm -hmm. How do you assess Millie Clegg's ability to make a step to international football? I was waiting for this question <laughs> um, for the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, look, we can all see that Millie's an exceptional talent. Um, she's got things that I think players in New Zealand haven't got. An eye for goal, her ability to dribble 1v1. She's still got a lot to learn. Um, she's still got a lot to progress and if you look at her last two performances last week she got nullified a little bit so if we can just help her progress and learn I think the world's her oyster if she can con continues to work the way she does um, I have no idea what's going to happen for her future postseason um, I hope she gets an opportunity but that's not in my hands a right, question from Victor Waters yep. as well how big an impact has Michaela Foster had on the team especially from set pieces we had her talking yesterday yeah she She's exceptional. I think the first thing to think about with Mickey is just what a great person she is. Um, 
she somehow she's gone from being a scholarship player who's never played professional football to all of a sudden making her football fans debut and becoming a leader within this group. She has so much respect of all the players. So um, yes, she adds a lot to us on the pitch. Um, eight of our 12 goals have come from her um, set pieces. So of course it's a huge asset, um, but I think her all round game is just improving every time. And, and she's such a wonderful person that um, she's helpful for everybody.